the outside of your knee hurt, do you want to know how to tape it yourself so that you can get through this injury and possibly allow you to stay out of the operating room, stay out of the injured reserve list, and to keep doing those activities? Oftentimes, active in-season athletes and everyday people use a product called KT tape or kinesiology therapy tape, KT tape for short. Today, I'm going to talk about using KT tape specifically to brace that outside or lateral aspect of your knee because you may have some outside knee pain. Oftentimes, we see that when we have a person who has a lateral collateral ligament strain outside of the knee portion here. This is the lateral collateral ligament here. We can have a lateral meniscus tear or strain. Also, what runs on the outside of the leg is the IT band or iliotibial band, and that can be strained or stretched. So those are the most common reasons that we will tape specifically on the outside of the knee. Let's show you how. So I'm just going to assume that I've got some outside knee pain and I'm going to point to the place that is most tender. Okay. Oftentimes with that IT band right in there. So let's put an X on that because we're going to want both of these strips to ultimately go through that X over that X. So these come in pre-cut strips, which is kind of nice. You're not using the scissors for this portion. And you want to know that both strips are going to go over this most painful point. One is going to be along this femur line and then it's going to go down and across and the other is going to be kind of in this line here and then coming across here but they're always starting on the femur for the lateral knee taping i go about two inches from the end i do a little twist pull off the tape from that two inches and that's called the anchor anchors do not have any tension so remember we're going to go on the femur and we're going to cross that knee joint. So it's going to be in that femoral line. Then we're going to cross over the painful point. So I'm going to start peeling off here, holding the tension now across that line. And then we're going to cross here. At the last two inches, I'm going to take off all tension. There's no tension at all here. And I'm just going to put that on. So that's one. The next one, I'm going to leave the last little bit of tape for this one. Because as you're learning, you kind of want to do that. So I will do that this time. So I'm going to tear at about two inches out. Remember, this one's going to be more in the line of the fibula or the, the lower leg bone rather than on the upper leg bone. So we're going to want to make sure that we're going to go ultimately this route. But I'm going to have zero tension here, zero at all. It's going to fit that nicely here. Got a little tiny bubble so I can fix that. This is where I'm going to start pulling off tape, but not all the way to the very end this time. Leave about two inches there. Pulling with moderate tension to cross that line. Here's the X. I'm going to go here moderately, moderately still until I get to about the last two inches. Now there is zero tension for placing this. And what I can do now is warm it. I'm going to actually kind of rub so that we get friction to activate the adhesive so that then it stays like it's supposed to here. All right. So that is through the lateral aspect of the knee, the pain points there. We have things that we can do to increase the likelihood that this is going to stay stuck. Number one, clean. So put it on clean, non-sweaty, um, non-lotion, non-oiled. If you've got hair there, shave it. Otherwise, it's going to be like a little pillow insulating in between. And then also doing this kind of rubbing and friction portion. A lot of people will KT tape for their workouts. It's kind of a reminder. It's kind of a little bit of a stabilization. It's over that pain point. Remember this, this is where the X is right here. Feel that there where I get some knee pain if more IT band was acting up. It does not prevent you from bending. It does not prevent you from uh, rotating, you know, at the hip certainly. And that there can still be rotation at the ankle, but it just kind of stabilizes at that lateral aspect of the knee or the outside portion of the knee. So that can get you back on the field. It can keep you active. It can keep you to where you are then using your anti-inflammatory diet. You're maybe using some topicals over the area. You are resting, you're icing or heating, you're stretching, and you're taking it easy and monitoring and letting your body show you if you need to maintain that or if you're trying to get through the season until you can get something like platelet-rich plasma or bone marrow aspirate 
adipose or if you're going the surgical route because you've got a severe tear, for example, of the lateral meniscus. If you like what you've heard, please drop us a line. Let us know what else you'd like to hear. Please subscribe also and make some comments so I do respond to the comments. And for our knee boost system, which incorporates anything related to the knee with regard to pain and trying to stay out of the operating room, unless there's something that is absolutely severe, we have a knee boost system. So kneeboostnow.com. You can also visit us on the web. And this is one of those things that just helps with that mild knee pain in terms of something on the outside. It could be lateral collateral ligament, lateral meniscus, mild osteoarthritis or potentially even moderate osteoarthritis in that outside component of the knee or the lateral compartment. Thank you again. Have a great day. If you have knee pain and would like to learn more, I have a worksheet called five things to do now to reduce your knee pain within a week. Go to www.kneeboostnow.com to download it for free. I'd love to hear from you. So please like subscribe and comment below so I can help you get out of your knee pain.